Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is just a quick photography tutorial in Photoshop and if you just go ahead and uh, go over and have a look at it now, uh, it's how to create this kind of an image. Now what we're going to be doing is we're draining all the color and we're just basing the pure colors black and white. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the raw image and all you're going to do is you want to duplicate that layer. So just hit Control J on your keyboard and that will make two copies for you. Now you want to go back on the original layer and you want to go to the kind of the black and white semicircle and go solid color. Now this will kind of in place itself in the middle of the two layers and it does not matter what color you go for at this stage. I'm going to click OK as it is irrelevant but you won't notice any difference. That is because this layer here is kind of overlaying onto this layer without any blend modes added and it being on normal uh, it, it won't be affected. But what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be getting rid of this pink background and that's kind of the pure reason why I use this image is because it's going to be really easy to remove this kind of pink strip down the left here. So I'm just going to go to the magic wand tool and I'm just going to tick and click and delete. And there you go. And now is there is the kind of uh, bright pink purplish color showing. And uh, what you want to do now is now you've got this image uh, you want to drain the color from kind of this, this face here. So go up while selecting the top layer you want to hit Control, Shift, and U, and that will desaturate the whole layer, making it all black and white. However, that's still not good enough. You notice it can kind of be more grey as opposed to just pure black and white. So we need to add a bit of threshold to the image. So go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold, and there you go. You want to play about with this slider bar. Obviously, the more it's increased, it will turn pretty much 100% black, and the more it's decreased, the more it will be white. So you want to go for somewhere in the middle. I'm not going to give you an exact number because it purely does depend on the image. Uh, whatever looks good for you. If I maybe just increase a little bit more. Uh, that's looking good enough. So click OK. Uh, but if we kind of zoom in here, especially on the lip, you kind of see that it's kind of pixelated. You know, it's a bit jagged. And that's not really what you want. So it's going to add a slight blur to kind of take out the kind of sharp edges. So go blur and Gaussian blur and set it to a radius of around 1 but again it will depend on your picture so anyway 1's good for me so I'm going to go ahead and click OK but now while that's kind of taken out all the harsh edges it's, it's kind of blurred the image and it looks a bit artificial and kind of low quality so go to you want to add, oh, I'm messing up my words here you want to go to you want to add a color curves to this image so go to image adjustments and curves and you want to add the standard kind of S shaped curve just to create a bit of contrast and um, something that looks good for you that's kind of looking good for me I uh, kind of mess about with them here there we go and click OK and there you have it you've sorted out your image that's how to get the stencil effect in Photoshop uh, maybe one thing you could do is if you go over to this layer color fill double click on it go to color overlay and you could change the color to a white uh, or a black you know that's how to kind of make this and that kind of looks good obviously you can have whatever color you want yeah but I think white black maybe looks a bit more professional but anyway that's how to do the central effect in Photoshop quick photography tip uh, thanks for watching this video please remember to like comment and subscribe uh, I've been Connor with Chrome Designs and I'll see you guys soon bye